The lesson you're about to see is specific to organic chemistry, which is the study of carbon-containing compounds. I have a graphic organizer that breaks down all organic molecules into the following. Hydrocarbons, and hydrocarbons can be broken down into saturated and unsaturated. A saturated hydrocarbon are molecules that have single bonds between carbon atoms. All of the bonds are single single bonds as seen here. The name of this family is the alkane family. So an example would be methane or ethane, propane. Those are all carbon-carbon single bonds. If you move over to the right side of the graphic organizer here, you see the term unsaturated and that implies double or triple carbon carbon bonds. The alkene family in particular, you'll notice the suffix is ene, -E, which implies there is one or more carbon-carbon double bonds. And we also, on a side note, we always assume the hydrogens are filled in according to the octet rule for carbon. Then the alkyne family, these molecules, if you look at their name, for example, propyne is how you say that, the YNE suffix indicates that there are carbon, carbon triple bonds. For our purposes, do not worry about the aromatic. Those are ring structures. It is assumed that all chemistry students, whether it's college prep or honors, understands the following table, which indicates the prefix as seen here. And I'll make two separate categories. I'll explain why in a moment. This table is assumed. The first set of prefixes, meth, eth, prop, and but, are a little harder. Uh, they're a little more foreign for us, so if you look over to these memory sentences here, we'll help you remember the order of the prefix. M stands for meth, and we use the sentence, Mike eats peanut butter, to help you remember that order, M-E-P-B. The prefixes 5 through 10 are not as foreign to us. Two connections you should make, one being that we already learned how to name covalent compounds using the prefix, these prefix prefixes, excuse me, as seen in this example, CO5 would be named carbon pentoxide. Or the second connection you should draw with this is that the prefixes pent through deck are the same prefixes used in naming shapes, ge geometry, geometrical shapes. The following here is, um, are some example problems from your review packet. If you take a look at the first example here, we'll go from easiest to hardest. So the first structure, you would want to start by counting, anytime you want to name an organic molecule, you want to start by counting the longest continuous chain of carbons. Again, you want to start by counting the longest continuous chain of carbons. When you're counting a chain, for example, a chain or a link of papers, you cannot start in the middle of a chain. You have to start on either of these ends. So with that being said, if I start on the left side and number my carbons left to right, this leaves me with six carbons in the longest continuous chain. I could have also counted right to left as seen underneath. Either way, I get the same answer, and the answer is hex same. Breaking that down, I start with the prefix hex. Hex means six, such as a hexagon has six sides. The ane indicates that there are carbon-carbon single bonds throughout this carbon structure. And that's the answer, and I believe letter H is what that structure is. Okay, One more mini lesson on um, naming the alkane structure. What happens if you have a group of atoms, such as this one, that is branching off of this longest continuous chain of carbon atoms? There is that bond, that connection. There's a rule that states if you have a branch, as you do here, you need to start counting the continuous chain of carbon atoms closest to this branch. So that being said, I need to start counting from right to left. That's the first thing you want to determine. Where do I start counting? Because there are four carbons in this longest continuous chain, I assign a prefix or a parent name 
dispute. I see that these are all carbon carbon single bonds and I'll draw you an arrow for where I'm focusing on. That's the single bond between the carbons. That's why the suffix ane is, is, um, is used here. Now it's not just a straight chain of four carbons and hydrogens. We also have a branch that I have boxed out in blue for you and the name of that is methyl. Meth means one carbon. YL means it is a branch. The branch just indicates that, that it is not part of my chain of four as you can see here. This does not have a carbon number on it. Now in regards to numbers you have to specify where to draw this branch, this methyl branch. It is coming off of the second carbon as you can see here. Here's the connection. So this would be called 2-methylbutane. That would make this answer letter C.